Hi there, how you doing? Wow, welcome to another episode of What's on Your Mind. The program is produced by in this series, 17 week. Let me say thank you and provide wonderful food for any occasion. So you need to check them out. Yeah. I'm also expecting a guest. I to you, the guys, this is a live stream. It's one take. There's no take one. There's no take two. There's no take three. <laughs> yeah, it's one take. You see me here live. So if you see a little bit of issues, you know what I mean? Not a lot of people do this. So this is what we do. So yeah. Let me say thank you. And as you know, I always start the program by looking at a few things that's been happening around the world. Yeah. And Colombia called and Haiti to guarantee legal rights and medical rights for 18 Colombians that's been held detained in Haiti. It is alleged they are involved in the assassination of Joven Morales. And there's no answer to that situation as yet. You know what I mean? There's no, nothing, nothing's, nothing's, nothing's coming out. Nobody seems to know who's behind it. You know what I mean? But I, I say, you know, that Colombia's asked for guarantee rights, for medical assistance and, you know, legal rights. Haiti can't even afford this for their own people. Yeah. I need to move on. <laughs> I need to move on, yeah. Africa. Mali is protesting against colonial power France because they want France to leave the country. France has been having its colonial powers there for such a long time. So this week they've had a lot of protests asking France to leave the country. I don't know if it's going to happen, you know what I mean? But it's one of those things. You can't carry on ruling a country that doesn't belong to you forever. You know what I mean? Shouldn't happen. Shouldn't happen. Well, let me move on. Let me move on. Let me come closer home to something that happens in Birmingham 10 years ago. It's to do with a riot that took place in Birmingham. And on the 9th of August 2011, there was a riot in Birmingham. And one mother has said she's still seeking justice for two of her sons, which is Shanaz Ali and Abdul. And also a 19 year old young man, Haroon Jahan that was hit by a speeding car. And Mrs. Begums has said up until this day, she has had no justice. Nobody has been charged or arrested over such a crime. And it must be terrible for a lady, you know what I mean, to lose two of her son and she's in her later years as you can see you know i mean she's not a young person anymore she's in her you know the late years and still she hasn't had any justice after that riot we hope one day you know some things will be sorted out yeah jamaica move on to jamaica now i quite like this story actually because over 150,000 jamaican to benefit from a five-year digital skill program. It's being undertaken by 
the Minister of Education and Microsoft. The partnership was signed on the 27th of July 2021 and it is set to bed in fact 31,000 people each year and they've got a deal which they've signed for up until 2026 so that's bringing new skills into those who needed it and I tell you I really like that story to see something fantastic like that and something positive happening yeah big shout out to you Jamaica <laughs> don't forget to like share and subscribe the program and this is a live stream you can actually share it right now yeah so let me say thank you Dr. Khan has slammed the government's job bribe. Yes, this is in the UK. He said young people should just do the right thing and take the vaccine instead of being offered vouchers and food and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, he has criticized. Boris Johnson government and the, the trouble about this if you start subsidizing somebody has to pay for it is the taxpayer gonna pay for it don't know is the NHS gonna pay for it that is another thing and nobody's got any money <laughs> so <laughs> I say to that one I, I strictly say to that one you know what I mean Yo, people, do the right thing and stop waiting for food before you take the vaccine. <laughs> I know, I know. And I say, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. But you can also share the program right now because we are live, yeah? Send it out to your friends, you know what I mean? And let them have a laugh. Because as, as me talking to you as well, we do have a laugh, yeah? And let me move on. To sports, man. Sports. Team GB is doing very, very well at the Olympics. Let me have a look at let me have a look at the medals table. Team GB has well gained a total of 48 medals. Also, China has gained 70 medals. The US has 79. Yeah. But I must say, Jamaica, Jamaica, wow. The Jamaican women clean it up, clean up the 100 meters, clean sweep. <laughs> and it was so fantastic to see what they did. And the, um, the winner, actually, Elaine Thompson Hera, smashed the record once again. Let's have a look if we can have a look at this, you know what I mean? Let's see if we can see it. Yeah? We'll have a look if we can if we can possibly see what is going on in this race. Shelly Fantastic! Anika Jackson came third. That is fantastic. I absolutely love that. However, after that bit of celebration, I must say, um, it seems very ironic that no Jamaican qualified in the final of the 100 meters because Jamaica when Johan Blake didn't qualify and I think the um the Italian Lemat Jacob won the race followed by Keely of America he won the silver and Andrew de Grasse for such a long time and it was such a shame not seeing him there i know he has to retire <laughs> and as i say before when you see that race because I, I can't remember a time when jamaica hasn't got into the 100 meters men final i can't remember a time when they haven't been there you know what i mean from the great dan quarry right down through the ages i can't remember a time when they haven't been in the final so that was a bit of, um, you know, <laughs> that was a bit of a change. And the British athlete, Hughes. Now, Hughes, Hughes has his chance. Fantastic chance he has. He could have probably win that race. <laughs> but he was disqualified from a false start. It's not funny. But you can't go to the 
Olympics and have a false start. I remember some years ago, they used to actually give you two chances. <laughs> now they only give you one. <laughs> so that was a little bit of disappointment, yeah. But as I say, I gotta, I gotta give the ladies, the ladies, you know what I mean? Like, I'll tell you what I love about the ladies, well. They had speed, they had class, and they had grace. Fantastic. Big shout out to you ladies, fantastic. Moving on, the Hungarian Grand Prix. Um, Lewis Hamilton. Now this was a strange race because there was a crash at the start of the race, yeah? And all the other drivers went in off the track and they changed their tires. So they never start back from the grid again. They start from the pits. Now, Lewis Hamilton was the only person to start from the grid. And then he, what happened? Yeah. And then he, um, he went in to change his tire. So Mercedes, have, 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 Mercedes may have miscalculated there. So he went in to change his tire. When he came back out again, he was in last position. But you know, Sir Lewis is late. He's what you call a driver. <laughs> driver, don't stop at all. <laughs> so he came back on the track and he did a fantastic race. He came third and finished on the podium. He is now leading the driver's championship once again. So we say big shout out to Sir Lewis Hamilton. Yeah, I like that one as well. <laughs> Entertainment, entertainment, yes. The Jamaican festival song competition has taken place. And the winner is Stacious. Stacious is a reggae artist. She's also a dance hall artist, but she's nailed it, you know what I mean? Which is absolutely fantastic. And she received a prize of three million dollars as well as the trophy. And the name of the song is called Jamaican Spirit. Love. I've heard the tune and I do like it. There's been some people, you know, some people always are moan about something, you know what I mean? <laughs> Sometimes you just can't, <laughs> you know what I mean? But she, she actually nailed it. So we say big congratulations. And the, the, the contest has been going since 1966. And it was first win by, um, this first song was Bam Bam, Water Bam Bam by the Matles. Before Toots, before it became Toots and the Matels, it was actually won by, they, they call themselves the Matels at that particular time. And I say it was 1966. And I always remember, 1966 was when England win the Football World Cup. I know this got nothing to do with it, but it comes into my head. Yeah. So as I said, 1966 was when England win the Football World Cup. And um, yeah, we say... And England, England had a really good chance to win again this, this time, but, you know, it never happened. So, 66 will always be that year that's still going around and going around. And it's been going on for so long. <laughs> okay. And also, and, um, on the 6th of August, Jamaican celebrates 59 years of independence. Jamaica was made independent in 1962. And we say happy independence, Jamaica, Jamaica, happy independence, wherever you are. And there has been quite a few people has actually fought for that. It's probably started way, way back uh, with the, Mab the, the Morant Bay Rebellion. You know what I mean? So that was always coming into the focus. And then later on, what you call in modern times, you had people such as Marcus Garvey, as well as um, Sir Alexander Bustamante and Norman Manley who actually fought for that independence as, 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 as well as the people, you know what I mean? So, fantastic. And even though um, Marcus Garvey, Sir Alexander Bustamante and Norman Manley had their differences, Norman Manley actually dropped some of the documents that helped to gain that country's independence. And Sir Alexander Bustamante 
during the independence became the first prime minister of Jamaica. Yeah. So we say happy independence once again, Jamaica. Jamaica homes and abroad. Thank you. So it's that time, isn't it? <laughs> Is that I tell you, it's very hot in the studio today. It's that time, isn't it? Wow, what can I say? The only thing I can say is rockets, rockets. Now, we got three men who is seems to be in the rocket business or they don't want to live on our planet anymore. To yourself, so. We have Elon Musk, Elon Musk. We also have Jeff Bezos and so Richard Branson. Now, these men are doing rockets into space and Richard Branson spend $841 million for Virgin Galactica to go into space. Also, Elon Musk has put down a deposit on the Galactica for £10,000 deposit. Now, the man who is at the top with Amazon, you know the Amazon man, <laughs> Bezos. Bezos has spent 5.5 Mil billion dollars to put a space rocket in space and he had to travel on it for four minutes that is a lot of money maximum maximum lot of money so let me say let me first say this I don't have any problems with rich people enjoying themselves because they're rich and that's what they do. But I sometimes wonder, could this money be better spent? And these guys are rich. And let me let me also let me also defend these guys. While while I'm ranting, let me also defend these guys because I know they do good work. And they've got various charities that they help all across the world. So there's, there's nothing wrong with that. Two, one. What I sometimes wonder with these rockets. Yeah. Wonder what these rockets. Is it just, is it an ego trip? Or what it is? Or is it because you're so rich that you can afford it? Wouldn't your money be better spent? Let me let me give you a, an example. Build a city. You guys could afford to build a city. You can afford to build a city that helps the underprivileged wherever you want in the world because you've got clout. <laughs> yeah, you've got clout. You've got what you call sometimes money, even though we say money is not, you know what I mean? You've got clout and you got money. So wouldn't that be better just building a city somewhere? And helping the people who live on this planet. Also, them, them rockets in time, we talk about looking at the atmosphere and looking after the atmosphere. But isn't the atmosphere being damaged by those rockets that's going up all the time? You know what I mean? I mean, we, 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 we unearth it. There's, there's parts in um, there's parts in Birmingham that we unearth that we talk about. And we can't drive into the city because of... Certain cars can't drive into the city because they talk about clean air. You know? But what those rockets are doing in... And they're producing bad air. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And uh, it, it, it's so... I, I don't understand it. I don't, I, don't, I don't know if it's an ego trip or it's because I've got money and I can do this. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's one of them ones. I, say, I know these guys do very, very good work. And I'm not taking that away from it. But I just think they could do some more with all that dough. You know what I mean? Helping the poor. You know what I mean? I know there's... You know, at the end of the day... I mean... They've got so much money on this planet anyway. A lot of people's got so much money on the planet. They could actually help the poor and the poor could do a lot better. You understand? They could create jobs. They could. We, we could end poverty. We could end poverty. 
You know what I mean? With all that sort of money and that sort of world, we could end properly. And also, some of those money that you see these guys got, they're going to say they're investors. But we are the we are the little people who actually buy from these guys. We are buy from these guys and they take our money. I know we need the product, yeah? And they take our money and we buy from them and they go into do what they want to do. It. They go, oh, we're investors. We are investors. We are investors. But... They, 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 you have to buy from them before they can take your money and invest it, isn't it? So really at the end of the day, I'm not, even though we say need the product, it is our money. Yes. And they're going to invest it somewhere else. <laughs> just like the bank. That was just like, oh, you put your money in the bank and the bank go and invest your money somewhere else. So those are the sort of thing that sort of, you know what I mean, get something, gets you know, gets your little rattle at the time. And I said, I'm not, I'm not in the business of criticizing rich people because, you know what I mean, are stopping them from enjoying themselves. It's just, you know, you just, you could look at it another way. And like I said to you guys, anyway, if you got any money, <laughs> you can also come and make a donation to this program, <laughs> breakshoottv at gmail.com. Yeah. And then we can also have to improve, you know what I mean? And don't forget, you can give us a call on 7 Eight seven two four four three seven six five. Yeah, and you can also check out the Reggae Jam Jam Jerk Center. Yeah, thank you, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you very much, and break you with cater for your funerals and your parties and your DJs, whatever function you have going, you can get in touch, you know what I mean? And we're also sp sp sponsors, yeah? A New Star Radio Live, yeah? Thank you. And New Star Radio 98.7 FM, yeah? I wanna say, and the ACMC, let me say thanks to all our sponsors. And as I say before, you can stream this program right now because the program is live. And it says, there's no take on this. It's just the one take that you see here yeah, coming through, yeah? Thank you. And, you know what? There's, there's another little thing I want to say, slightly. Because what I find is, don't touch it, yeah? Don't touch it. Have you ever gone into a museum and they say, don't touch it? Yeah, have you? All this art and all this this and all this gold and all this artifacts and ornaments they've got in this museum and they say don't touch it. The trouble about that is a lot of these artifacts come from another person country and they put it in all these museums across the world and then they tell you not to touch it. If when they come to your country and you tell them not to touch it, them still touch it. <laughs> you got my points. Do you get my drift? So they come to your country and they take it and they touch it and then they come and put it in their library or their archives or their museum and they tell you not to touch it. You know? And they, they, they will go to all these countries and Dig out what I call dig out. I'm not to say dig out. Dig out all their treasures and they put it in, around museum across the world. And then they come and tell you, don't touch it. And people has lost their lives for that as well. And they still come and tell you, don't touch it. Well, why was you in the other person country literally taking all these artifacts? Why did you touch it? Why did you touch it? Yeah. I'm hoping to speak to my, uh, my guests very soon. And, you know, as I say, it's, um, as I say, I, I can't understand why they, they, they go to all these different countries and take their treasures and then they come and put it in their museum and their libraries and their, you know, on display. And then you sit in a glass and they do this and they do it. And then they say, don't touch it. Well, why did you go to other people's country and touch it in the first place? Why? Right? Why? I don't know. I really don't know. I really don't know. Yeah. As I say, I'm hoping to speak to my guests very, very soon. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.
and as I said, the program is produced by Breakthrough TV at gmail.com. And you can get in touch with Breakthrough TV at www.gmail.com. Thank you. Mm. Yeah, but hi. So I'm still waiting for my guest, and I think he has yeah, arrived. Okay. Good afternoon. Okay. Good afternoon, sir. I can see you. Can you see me? <laughs> I can see you clearly as day, man. <laughs> I, I could do it seeing you a little bit more clearer. Where's your lights? <laughs> hey, you can't see my lights. I can't I've see got my lights. I can't see your lights. I hope you're not hiding out here. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe I'm too dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah but I hope you're not hiding. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> I wouldn't say that, sir. Well, I'm yeah. see. How you doing, sir? I'm doing fine, sir. I'm Thank you for joining us. Brilliant. You're doing absolutely brilliant. Sir. You've been enjoying the show mm -hmm. so far? Well, I was trying to get in, actually, and I couldn't get in, you but could, um, I heard a little bit of it. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. Let me say yeah. thank you once again for joining us at What's On Your Mind. And I must say to you, congratulations, because... The last time you we talked to you, I mean, it was a live stream. It's a live stream now. The last time we talked to you, we've had a lot of people that says it was good that you came on the program, and they 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 relate to a lot of the good vibes that you were sending out, a lot of the messages that you were sending out. Yeah. Okay. And this is this is why we actually invited you back to um mm -hmm. to spread some of that. <laughs> The all spread, right, the, the I'm spread, glad for that. To spread, some of that to spread some of that good vibes and all that sort of stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah. So let me say thank you once again, sir. Thank you. So let me ask you that. What, what, what have you got on your mind this week? What have I got on my mind this, um, what, 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 um, this week what, is... What have I got on your mind, yeah. Um, what kind of world we are going to face in a few years' time? Yeah. And... The reason why I say that is because everything is changing and nothing that we first saw in, in 2019 is going to be seen again. Okay. Everything is going to change. Yeah. So what kind of world we are going to be living in um, in a few years from now? That is like a a sixty-four billion dollar question, isn't it? Well, actually, have it's you, not. Have you? Have you? That, thank you. Have you? I'm, I'm gonna go just say, have you got an answer? Yeah. Yeah. I've got an answer, and the answer is: um, Jesus made a statement. Yeah. And he says, "So shall it be." Um. In the days of Noah, so shall it be the coming of the Son of God. Okay. Now, in the days of Noah, yeah. um, men was doing many things like um, DNA um, um, splitting. Yeah. Um, they had some technology that was way, way, way superior than now okay um they have flying cars they had mobile phones that we have but uh, they had um you know different technology that we okay you know don't even have now yeah. and right the reason why i say that yeah um if you read the book of enoch okay Right, in the book of Enoch, yeah. um, it talks about the 200 angels that came down on Mount Aaron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mount Aaron, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I am aware of that. Yeah. And, yes. Yes. And these 200 angels, yeah. right, they gave men technology that is superior. Okay. Um and they learn them about war and they learn about different things, mm -hmm. you know, like medicine and things like that, cutting of roots. Yeah. Um, and then what like, the angels 
started um, to sleep with man, um, you know, women. Okay. And then, as you heard before, they become giants. And um, but the spirits of these angels are still alive, okay. even now. And they are giving men technology right now. Okay. And um, so the world has changed from 2020. Mm -hmm. And we are going to see some things that we are going to be so shocked. And I'm wondering how we're going to cope. Mm -hmm. You know, because it's going to be so weird. Devastating. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be scary. And especially right, man is going to start to deny God and and not um, acknowledge him yeah. anymore. Yeah. And I would love to know how the world is going to be then. Yeah, yeah. Um, do you think we can help this? as like teach young teach or by teaching i think in youngsters or let's say youngsters because we are you know we are we're we're all a men now yeah we're big men you think we can help this mm. by teaching the youngsters or whatever because they are the future aren't yes they? yeah yes because um noah yeah um right in the apocrypha mm -hmm. right noah right was a albino okay. albino mm. His hair right, was like wool. He had woolly hair. Mm -hmm. And his parents learned him about God, okay. who God is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if we can do the same thing, yeah. learn our children yeah. about the word of God yeah. back in yeah. Africa. Yeah. Not but, in Europe, yeah. in Africa. But you... These men were African men. Okay. And if we start to teach the Bible from that perspective, the truth, yeah. you know, the Bible yeah. is an African book. Mm -hmm. um, then our children will start to love themselves and start to understand that this book is for their it is for their well being. Okay. You know, I mean to help them, mm -hmm. you know, to advance and to deal with all situations. Okay. The Bible. Yeah. You know? What do you think? And, mm, yeah, go on, sorry. Do you think sometimes the Bible was used to sort of control men as in not a positive way? Because sometimes, yes. yeah, in not a positive way, you know what I mean? In not a, in not a good way then. You know what I mean? Like, because uh, like the, the Bible, like when I see some parts in the Bible, the Bible probably was the, probably some part of the Bible was the first early, early, um, what you call Political, like I, I, you know, what I mean, I, I think some of the very political issues came from the Bible of controlling people, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. That, that, that's well, the, you know, that's the part I'm trying to get on. Yeah. Um. You see, what what happened was, mm. um, Moses told the children of Israel, okay, right, right, the Israelites, yeah, that, um. If you don't follow God, yeah. these things will happen to you if you don't follow him. Okay. But if you follow him, you will be blessed among measure. You know what I mean? You'll be blessed. Yeah. Everything you do, right, you'll be blessed. Everything you touch will be blessed. And they decided not to listen and to follow other nations yeah, yeah. and then what happened was that they were stripped of their blessings mm -hmm. and that blessings was given to another nation and that nation abused the people okay. who the bible was for yeah, 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 yeah. i don't know right if you understand what i'm trying to yeah, say yeah I, I do get what you're saying i get i do understand what you're saying I'm not, right yeah. i'm trying to say that all of these blessings was ours, but we gave it away because our disobedience, and we didn't want to do 
what's right. Okay. And all of the nations around the world yeah. knew that God forsaked us yeah. and then we became the bottom of the pile. Okay. Okay. Now yeah. there is a chance for us to get back that blessings. Mm -hmm. But we have to come back. We have to come back the Bible. Yeah, yeah. Blah 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 blah. Yeah. But I'm saying to you right now, yeah. if you don't go back to God, yeah. we are not going to survive a of little, wickedness. I'm a little bit of trouble with my screen, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I do see what you're Recording saying. Recording in progress. I do see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for that. Thanks. Cheers. Um, that is a very, very good um very good what you're saying what you're saying yes that, that is very good what you're saying you know what i mean and, um as you say if we don't go back to sort of you know and it's not going to be easy to convince people of that though is it no 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 i mean I'm, and this I'm, is the we're, problem Carl. we're living in this the, the I'm, living in, I'm we're living in what we call the so-called real world you know what i mean it's not going to be easy to sort of you know convince people of that Especially how you know people these days they they love all kind of different things they love like evil things and you know and think that's you know how do I say that I mean yeah we're called, we, we, I mean we all we all, but, we all we all have to work for money any we all have to work for money and we all like to, yes. we got we got to pay our bills aren't we yeah but yes. some people think money is their god don't they yes yeah I believe Carl yeah and um, Carl <laughs> I tell you something. Mm. I remember right, I was working one day. Yeah. And um and right, I was working at um, a job. Okay. And the Lord told me to leave this um, this job, you know. Okay. Right. He told me to leave the job. Yeah. And I said to myself, nah man, how am I gonna pay my bills? Yeah. How am I gonna do this? How am I gonna do this? You know? Mm -hmm. And eventually, Carl, I I just took that step. And God provided for me. Marvelous. He provided everything I need. Marvelous. You know, and up to this day, yeah. he has always provided for me. And what I'm trying to say, mm -hmm. if we put our trust in the one who has made all things possible, yeah. if we put him to the test, mm -hmm. he will not fail. Marvelous, marvelous. Yeah. You know, and... Until we get to that, you know, yeah. that point in our lives, yeah, yeah. we will never know. That's true. That's true. That is true. How long you? How long you been a Christian? Or should well, I say, how long you been serving the Lord? Let me say, because like, <laughs> there's Christians and Christians, aren't there? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that if you see what I'm saying. So how long? How long you been serving the Lord? That is a that is a more positive question to ask. Well, I've been serving God for about 21 years. Marvelous. Marvelous. And I have never, I have never regretted. And you never doubted him. There was not you one know. minute yeah. I've regretted it. Now, yeah. but I've made mistakes. Yeah, we, we, we all do. We all do. You know, yeah. and I prayed and I asked God to come and deliver me out of my problems. Yeah. You know, it's been there for me, Carl. It's been there. I'm, you know, I can put my hand on my heart. Yeah. That's marvelous. That's absolutely. You know, amazing. it's done. It's done me great. There's nothing I don't want. Yeah, yeah. You, 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 you've got what you, you've got what you want. That's good. That I've good. got, That's yeah. Good. I've got what I need. That's good music. What music? Mm. And how do you sort of encourage other people away from you talking to me now? How do you sort of encourage? Because you've got a very good, what I say, a very good message. Yeah. Yeah. How do you? How do you? To get other people because you know you're always gonna have people who you know what I mean who criticize and say this that and all the rest of it because that's humans aren't they? So how yeah, do you yeah, go yeah. around convincing people um, of what you're just saying to me? Or because we, you, I mean, I mean I'm not gonna say to you is it, you should have said to them take it or leave it. I'm not gonna say that because that's not the right way to go. <laughs> yeah. You see what I'm saying? You're not gonna say to them take okay. it or leave it. No. So how do you actually God. convince? Yeah. God, sometimes you have to you know because. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Noah right. Noah right was preaching for a hundred and something years. Yeah. Preaching to people, mm -hmm. telling them to repent, repent, 
for hundred and something years he was yeah, telling them yeah, i see where you're going with this now i see where you're going now. right <laughs> yes and they didn't want to know yes i know they didn't want to know carl yes until no. until carl that door was closed yes and they all wanted they all wanted to rub in the boat and they couldn't run in there could yes <laughs> you know what i mean let's, let's, and, put, let's put it in plain terms yeah yes oh you know people might say that's lies yeah that's lies you know what i mean that nah yeah. i don't believe in the bible nah yeah. i don't want to serve god i want to live my way yeah, yeah, well yeah. what what i would say to that is Mm -hmm. there is a people yeah. on this planet mm -hmm. who God hates okay and there's a people on this planet who God hates yeah but if what 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 I but what I've said and uh, I'm not I'm not you know I'm not listening to what what about they say God is love yeah we we're, we're all use that word okay right we always say that God loves everyone that's interesting he yeah. doesn't love everyone okay and this what and this what people doesn't um don't understand what, 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 there what, is a people yeah on the planet on this planet here yeah who is hell bent in destroying god's people okay because they are not going to enter his kingdom to come all right and i you know I heard, but I heard a person in our call. Mm -hmm. He said this. Yeah. He said this. How would you feel? Yeah. Knowing that God hates you. Yeah. And there is no chance of me getting to His kingdom. Okay. Now, what else can you do? Mm. Eh? Yeah, that's right. That's right. That that's person right. there yeah. is gonna hate what God loves. Okay. And you do anything to destroy what God loves. All right. And if it means to destroy people of color, it, 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 it's, it, uh, yeah, he's yeah, gonna do he's that. Gonna do it. You know that that is that is a very very good point. I've never ever saw a look at it. You know what I mean? Because until until you talk about the God love, you know what I mean? And because I always thought, as you say, God love everybody, but I've never ever gone no. into just what you just say there. You know, I never even crossed my mind or think about it. That's very very good. Very very good. You know what I mean? We call yeah. right. Some people say, nah 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 nah. Yeah. God doesn't say that. No, it's lies. Well, I can show you a scripture where God says it does. Okay. You know what I'm saying, Carl? Yeah. But people just don't want to hear the truth. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. doesn't love everyone. Right. Because of the sin yeah. um, that we continually do. Okay. You know what I mean? And have no repentance of it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, Carl? So if those people sort of, um, what are you saying? If those people sort of repent, you know what I mean? Mm. Will God forgive yeah. them and love, and love them again? Yeah? Yeah. 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 But yeah, but it's hard, Sika. If your heart, right, right, if your heart is meant to do that, yeah. Well, you know, mm -hmm. it's gonna do it. It's gonna, it's gonna do it, and it doesn't care. It doesn't care right, if God, you know, I mean, cares or not. He doesn't care. He's gonna do it. Yeah, yeah. That's more, that's you know what I'm saying? That, that, is, that is actually marvelous. That is, that is yeah. Amazing. That is actually. Marvelous. I know it's kind of hard to hear this. Um, no, it's, this not, it's, not, it's not hard. But no, 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 no. You make some very, very good points. And yeah, yeah. It, it's. I mean, it's like it's, each one teach one, isn't it? We've heard that. You know I mean, we've heard the episode, and it's it's good to hear that. You know what I mean? It's good to hear it because yeah. it it will make you sit up. You know what I mean? And make you think. And sometimes, yeah. and sometimes we need this. A lot of us need this. You know what I mean? Even some things you wouldn't think of. You know. It's good to hear that. So it, it make you sit up and make you think. You know, what I mean? so I, 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 I quite, I quite, um, I quite like that. Um, quite like that idea. Or what I, I would, do, I don't want. Yeah, I'm gonna call it concept. You know, what I mean, in no, no, in di no disrespectful way. You know, what I mean, if you get me what I'm saying, it's very good. It's very good. It's very All right, good. I'm give you an example why I can say it as well too. Mm -hmm. I remember right when I first came a, a Christian. Yeah. Early. 
Christian. Early Christian. Mm. And I was um and I was reading about David. Yeah. And um and what happened was there was a incident where God told um right, he told Saul. Yeah. Right, he says, I want you to go down to this town. Okay. And I want you to wipe out every single living thing. And I don't want nothing to live. Yeah, 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 yeah. And right when Saul went down there, mm -hmm. he only killed what he wanted to kill. Okay. And And the Lord was angry with him because he didn't do what he was told to do. Mm -hmm. Now, right when I heard that, I said, nah, man, God is wicked. Okay. Nah. How can I serve a God like that who just go down there and wipe out mother, father, children, cow, everything, dog, every, everything's going to die? Mm -hmm. I said, nah, man, I can't serve a God like that. Nah. Until I get to realize yeah. that the bloodline of those people had fallen angels' blood inside okay. of their own blood. Okay, okay. And I said to himself, oh, I understand now. Yeah, yeah. Because, right, if those people live, mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, that bloodline right, would be here and causing problems on the planet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, and God says, no, they're going to die. Yeah. You know what I mean? I said, okay, I understand now. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? I know the church don't talk about things like this, mm. but these things are reality. Well, and we have to know that we're living in a planet where there are people who are hell-bent in, in, in destroying God's people. Okay, let me, let me, let me sling one by you then. Because <laughs> mm. you, mm -hmm. you must have heard this many, many times, so I'm going to sling it mm. by you. Um, yeah. This man write the Bible, you know. <laughs> yeah. 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 This is what I'm saying, because I'm, yes. I'm, I'm talking about those people who you we, we're going to convince, yeah? So we convince. We're, we believe All what right. we say that we're going to say. And the first thing they're going to sling at you is, a man write the Bible, yeah? Yes. Yeah, talk to me. All right. Man has right, man has wrote in every book on the planet, From the right? Time, yeah. Every book, man has read, you know what I mean, right mm. under. Yeah. But right with the Bible now, it okay. says that the Bible is inspired. By God, I've got your answer. It's yeah. different. I've got my, I've got my yeah. answer. I've got my answer. Right. I've got my answer. It's, in, it's inspired by the Spirit of God. Yeah. You know to say what it says. Mm. And right when you're, right when you're reading the Bible, it speaks to you. Okay. Okay. It tells you what to do. It tells you who is what, what is what, everything. It speaks to you. Yeah. You know what I mean through your spirit and the Word. Okay. And that's why the Bible is the greatest book on the planet. There is no other book yeah. like that book there. Fantastic. And that and that's and that's the reason why people use it for evil. You see, yeah. because the the book speaks to you. Marvelous, marvelous. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Absolutely, I I love it. I love it. I love it. Let me say thank mm. you. Let me let me. Let me say thank you for that, Brother Lysi. And no problem. Have you got any event coming up, or you want to tell us about what? What have you? Have you got anything coming up? Yes, I've got an event on Friday in London. Okay. It is Jamaican Independence Day in um, in London, so I'm doing a concert down there. Okay. It's gonna be nice. It's gonna be dinner, black tie, and everything. Smart, everything. It's gonna be beautiful. Okay, fantastic. We're about in. We're about in. Um, we're about in London. Oh, um, it's North London. Okay. It's North London. I can't remember where that no, was. No, North no. London. I've been, I know North London very well. I used to, I used to go 
London in quite. I've been to North London from such a years, but I used to go. To, I used to go to North London quite, quite a little bit. I remember speaking about that. I remember I used to go to from Birmingham all the way down to Victoria Station in London, mm -hmm. and then after catching a bus to come back up into North London many, many years ago. That was my first yeah, yeah. experience of going to London. And then you come up all the way up past Buckingham Palace. You know, I mean, all those places past the Albert mm -hmm. Hall comes into Kensington. We also got a place called Kensal Rise, so now I'm right up into your, well, you're in North London there, yeah, yeah. So, yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. It's a lovely place. I love London, actually, you know. Yes, you love it. I mean, yeah, and myself, yeah. I have, I've always thought I should I should have moved there years ago, you know. Yeah. Because the, the um the, I think London's got a lot of opportunities, you know. what I mean, a lot of opportunities, and um, even where music is concerned, you know, you've been a you've been a musician or a singer, you know. What I mean, I think I think it's got a lot of opportunities compared to other cities, you know. What I mean, I absolutely, mean, absolutely. I, I, even, even say compared to Birmingham, I know like the north, you know. What I mean, which is what we call the north, has has done even better than um what we say in Birmingham, you know. What I mean, because you have you know you had you had Liverpool and all those places, you know. What I mean, where mm. you know, um, groups like Oasis and all those sort of group come from up north, you know what I mean? And I um, mean, even the real thing and all those sort of stuff. But they've um, it, it, they've done a lot better than even than say Birmingham, you know what I mean? The Birmingham, mm. you, know, you see what I mean? So, mm. so it, well, Birmingham right, is the best place for music, you know. Yes, is that is that is, is that in is that in the terms of promoting or, or no, um, just music wise. Is that music is that, wise? Is that, is, that, is that making music? Yeah, it's yeah, the best. Yeah, I can understand that. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the yeah, best yeah, place, yeah, yeah. you know, because people love Birmingham music. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can understand that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we just don't have the. Um, we don't have the promotion. And then, no, we just and don't then, have the promotion and then you, down here. What, what, yeah, and what you got then? You you got people start calling you. Um, well, even though if you're, uh, I mean, even though if you're a local artist, you don't want to be called a local artist. You want to say you're an artist that breaks out. You know what I mean? Break the whole mold. Mm. You know what I mean? That's and even 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 the even the program I I do on on New Star Radio. In yeah. The, in the early days, I used to say because you know I do a lot of promotion and play a lot of. I I, I had to change it and said, well, I'm, I'm I'm playing artists from the West Midlands. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you know, so it covers the whole the whole surrounding you know what i mean or i'm playing mm -hmm. an artist from the uk yeah that is another mm -hmm. thing i actually do say you know what i mean instead of because i think when you use and somebody said it to me many many years ago many no i was actually doing a program with um with an, a couple of artists and i says carl you say you know what i mean we don't like to say any law, local artists we, don't, we prefer to hear you know what i mean artists from the uk artists from the west midlands which is a very very good concept actually you know what i mean because when mm -hmm. when you say like local artists people sort of you know oh it's a local artist blah 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 you see what i'm saying Yes. Yeah, you see what I'm saying. So you know, I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. He goes. I hear, brother. I hear. Yeah, he goes from there. Let me say, brother Lighty. Uh, we're coming to the close. Um, anything yeah. else you want to tell us? Yes, I just want to say, you know, don't be frightened. Mm. Um, what's coming on the planet? Okay. As long as we are faithful. And you know, just search, search your um, search, search your heart, and search, you know, for the most high because it's there. But um, it says that his spirit will leave the earth, mm -hmm. and then you know it's going to be anarchy, and we don't want that. So you know, I would love it if everyone could start to learn their children about God. Yeah, you know, I mean, speak to your children about, you know, I mean, the most I yeah. read the Bible, yeah. you know, I mean, get yeah. connected because when this thing comes, if you're not connected, you are going to be blowing away, okay. you know. So my word was, is what world do you want to see in the years to come? Is that it? Is that you want God or you want the world. You, want the world you know but choose one okay choose one yeah, yeah. Mm. let me say thanks for that thank you thank you thank you no problem brother thank you it's a blessing thank you for taking part. and yes i'd like to <laughs> i'd like to thank everyone for calling back um for asking me to come back and the and the show yeah. i am really honored um i love you all 
and I'm praying for every single person um, and be strong. Yeah. And we need more programs like this as well to go out, you know what I mean, to yeah. speak to the community. Yeah. Uh, um, you know, we... You know, we do need this, man. And, yeah, and, and, and this is, this is just... Carl, thank you. I mean, we have this program and we talk about... Whatever, but this, this is also a program about... Of just what you've, you know, what you just said. And it's also a program about if you've got problems, you know what I mean? If you've got domestic abuse or, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like any form of abuse or if you're in trouble, you know what I mean? Or, you know what I mean? If you're in trouble with the, you know, with, with, with whatever, um, different organization, or if you need some help, you know what I mean? We can actually punch you in the right direction. You understand? You know what I mean? Mm. We can give mm. you a number. We can punch you into the right direction of whether it be, whether with any form of abuse, racism, or that's all. Because you know that is big on the agenda now. You know what I mean? Yeah. That kind of thing. And what exactly you are saying or what is something. We can punch you in the right direction. And if you're struggling, you know what I mean? Or if you, as I say, if you're in an abusive relationship, we can help you to um bust you. We can tell your story. Yeah. We can also tell your story, and we can, if you want to tell your story, you know what I mean, whether it be domestic abuse or it's about your children or problem with the police or problem with the law, you mm. know what I mean, it could be an accident that hasn't been sorted out, and you want to mm. come and tell your story, you know what I mean, we're here to we're tell Carl, you. know something? Yeah. I'm going to talk about that, you know, because I remember when I was five years old. Yeah. And my father, right, used to beat my mother. Okay. And I was five years old, five. My days. And I, I remember I was at the top of the stairs. Mm. And I was looking down and I saw my mommy right on the bottom of the stairs getting beaten mm. by, by my father. Oh, my days. And it affected me just, all of my life. I'm just going to ask you that. You know, what was the effect it had yeah, on you? It affected me in relationships. Yeah. It affected me um you know with friends it, it affected me a lot so i would say any man who's laying his hand on any woman yeah that man is not a man yeah, yeah. he's got no respect he's got no right yeah, yeah. you know to lay his hand on any woman yeah. you have no right to do that yeah. and i would tell any woman mm -hmm. leave him run get out of it do not stay with a man who hits you get out of it because i'm telling you yeah. it affects the children mm -hmm. for the rest of their lives yeah. and how's you know, your because uh, i am uh, i am a testimony in that your testimony in that. and let me ask you then um how's your mother your mother still with us yes 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 but wow. I had a hate for my father for, for years. Yeah. Yeah, because of what he done to my mom. Okay. And, and how, you how, know what I mean? How, how are you with him now? How are you with him now? Well, well he's, he's died now. But, oh, he's um, died now. You know, it was all right. I mean, right, I had to forgive him. Yeah, yeah. I just had to forgive him, you that know is, what I mean? Because I couldn't, a, you know? That is the thing. I oh. couldn't carry on that. You know, with that no more in, in my heart, you know. Mm, I said to let it go. Mm. But it hurt me, man. It hurt me. So if any man is laying out his hand on a woman, go. Okay, okay. Do not stay with that man. Okay. Well, Brother Lighty, let me say thank you. Uh, my time yes, sir. is almost... My time is up. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. <laughs> let me say once again, thank you for taking part in what's on your mind. Have a great night. Look yeah, after man. yourself and keep safe. And, once and you, again, brother. Big thanks for you. And Thank you. you. Massive Bye. respect. Thank you. Cheers. Wow. There you have it, guys. It's what's on your mind. Yes. I want to say thanks to our very special guest, Brother Lighty, and sharing us his what's on his mind. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Yeah. We're sponsors by the ACMC. Yeah. New Style Radio, 98.7 FM. New Style Live. Also, the Reggae Jam Jam Jerk Center. Thank you. All been well. We should be back next week with another What's On Your Mind. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. And don't forget to like, share, 
and subscribe. God bless you. We're out.